Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and I have another fun Easter project for you. Today we're going to learn how to make these quick and easy stuffed fabric bunny rabbits. They're a nice way to decorate for your Easter holiday just like last week's fabric Easter eggs and the week before's fabric carrots. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com to find even more sewing and crafting projects, including the fabric carrots and Easter eggs. Alright, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need two pieces of fabric measuring 5 inches by 8 inches, polyester fiber fill stuffing, pinking shears if you have them, and the template downloaded from debsdays.com. I've added a link to the template and the supply list for this project in the description right below this video. First, place a piece of fabric with the right side facing down, wrong side facing up. On top of that, place another piece of fabric with the right side facing up. If you haven't cut out your bunny pattern yet, go ahead and do that, and then center the template in the middle of the fabric. Be sure you have some extra space all around the bunny, and then pin it in place. We're going to stitch right around the outside edge of the paper and leave a space at the bottom for turning. As you stitch, you'll want to go slow as you go around the rabbit, especially at the curves. While you don't want to accidentally sew over the paper, it's okay if you do. Just be careful when you remove it from your stitching. When you've removed your paper, use your pinking shears to cut the bunny out. We're going to cut a quarter inch, half inch away from the stitching. Open the bottom and begin stuffing the bunny. Start with a small amount of filling and place it up in the ears. Continue stuffing the rabbit until you have it as full as you'd like it. Then press the filling away from the opening so we can stitch it closed and sew the bottom of the edge closed. Since we did a lot of work with that opening, you may notice it's a little bit raggedy. Go ahead and use your pinking shears to trim it up. Now if you'd like to add a ribbon for the neck, you can do that now or leave them as they are. And just like that, you have another quick and easy sewing project for Easter. Remember, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com to find even more sewing and crafting projects. See you next week with another project. Bye.